Dear friends, welcome to the spoken tutorial on designing printed circuit board in KiCad. In this tutorial, we will learn to design printed circuit board in KiCad. We are using Ubuntu 12.04 as the operating system with KiCad version 2011-05-25 for this tutorial. Basic knowledge of electronic circuit is the prerequisite for this tutorial. The user should also know how to design circuit schematic in KiCad, to do electric rule check, to do netlist generation, to do mapping of components with footprints. For relevant tutorials, please visit http colon slash slash spoken tutorialorg To start KiCad, go to the top left corner of Ubuntu desktop screen, click on the first icon that is dash home. In the search bar, write KiCad and press enter. This will open KiCad main window. To open EE schema, go to the top panel and click on EE schema tab. An info dialog box will appear which says that it cannot find the schematic. Click on OK. I will use the circuit schematic of a stable multi vibrator which was created earlier. To do this, I will go to the file menu, click on open. Choose the folder in which file is saved. Select project1.sch and click on open. I will resize the window. So now I will click on open. This will open the circuit schematic. I will zoom in using the scroll button of the mouse. We have already generated the netlist for this circuit and done mapping of components with corresponding footprints. The next step is to create printed circuit board layout. To start with this, Click on Run CVPCB New button located on the top panel of EE Schema window. This will open PCB New window. An info dialog box appears saying it did not find project1.brd. Click on OK to close this dialog box. Now you can import the footprints by clicking on Read Netlist button on the top panel of PCB New window. Here the netlist window opens. Keep all the default settings as it is. Click on browse netlist files button. This will open select netlist window. I will now resize this window for better view. Select project1.net file from desired directory and click on open. Click on Read Current Netlist button. It will show warning saying Project1.cmp not found. Click on OK. Now close Netlist window by clicking on Close button. You can see that all the footprints are imported and placed in the top left corner in PCB New window. Now we need to place all footprints in center of PCB New window. For this, click on Manual and Automatic Move and Place of Modules button located on the top panel of PCB New Window. Now, right click once in the center of the PCB New Window. Go to Globe Move and Place. Then click on Move All Modules. This will open a confirmation window. Click Yes. I will zoom in with scroll button of my mouse for better view. You may or may not see white wires connecting the terminals of footprints. If you do not see them, click on show or hide board rat's nest button located on the left panel of PCB new window. White wires are also called as air wires. Now we will arrange the modules such that minimum number of air wires cross each other. 
Now right click on IC555 footprint. Go to footprint options and click on move. You can see that the footprint is tied to cursor. You can see that the component moves according to the grid displayed in the background. Now click once to place the component wherever required. I am going to place it here. It is possible to change the grid spacing using grid options drop down menu on the top panel of PCB new window. For now we will go ahead with the default value that is grid 1.270. For moving components, you can also use the shortcut key M. For example, let me show you how to move the capacitor. Point the cursor on capacitor. Press M. The module will get tied to cursor. You can move it wherever required. To place component, click once. To rotate component, press R. For example, let me rotate the register. Place the cursor on the register and press R. Similarly, you can arrange all the components. I have already arranged footprints to get minimum intersection between air wires. This is shown here. Now, we need to convert these wi air wires into actual tracks. Under the layer tab, on the right side of the PCB new window, select back layer if if not selected. Back layer is represented by green color. Layer selected is pointed by small blue arrow. For creating tracks, select add tracks and vias button located on the right panel of PCB new window. Now let us click on one of the nodes of R1. Then we will double click on node of R2 where wire needs to be connected. Similarly, we will connect one more wire between register R3 and capacitor C1. Let us click on one of the nodes of R3. Click once to change the direction of wire. Then we will double click on the node of C1 where wire needs to be connected. The green track created represents actual copper path created on the printed circuit board. It is also possible to change the track width. This can be done by clicking on design rules menu option in the menu bar of PCB new window. Click on design rules. Design rules editor will open where you can change the track width. We will change the track width to 1.5. To do this, double click on the value of track width, type 1.5 and press enter. For creating the track, we could also use the X key on the keyboard. Let me show this to you. Keep the cursor over one of the node of LED D1. Press the key X. Then we will double click on the node of R3 where wire needs to be connected. You can see that the width of the track has increased. In this way, you can complete the design of the board. I have already completed the design for this board here. Let me open the completed design board file. We also need to draw the PCB edges for completing this design. For this we need to select PCB edges option from layer tab on the right side of PCB new window. Now click on add graphic line or polygon button located on the right panel of layout editor window. Now let us create a rectangle around this printed circuit board. Click on the top left side of layout. Move the cursor horizontally towards right. Click once to change direction of line. 
move the cursor vertically downwards. Similarly, we can complete the rectangle. Let me complete uh, this rectangle. End the rectangle by double clicking left mouse button. Now let us click on file menu and click on the save option. Please note that this file is saved with the extension .brd. This completes the board layout for a stable multivibrator circuit. In this tutorial, we learned to design printed circuit board in KiCad using PCBNU. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshop using spoken tutorials, gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict intro. This script has been contributed by Abhishek Pawar. This is Rupak Rokde from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.